Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcalTexHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses and I uh, do have a fairly significant cold front on the way today that will give us our first real taste of fall here, uh, not only tonight but through the day tomorrow and we are expecting some cooler temperatures today as well as some locations will top out in the 70s. It won't be a big rainmaker this front but it will bring some showers and thunderstorms to the region. You can see uh, as of right now that front still located just off to the north and uh, to the northwest of the Arcaltex and you can see all the shower and thunderstorm activity that has popped up along it. We do have some showers out ahead of the front trying to move into our northeast Texas counties this morning, but uh, there's a pretty good look at where that front is right now, so it is beginning to make its way into the uh, northern Arcaltex here, and we'll begin to see that rainfall make its way uh, down to the surface as we go through the day, but uh, as far as what we're seeing this morning, so far, most of us starting out in dry conditions. We do have some fog setting up in Treeport. You can see a little bit of that on the camera this morning. Your temperatures are in the low 70s here before sunrise. Visibility uh, looking like some dense fog maybe setting up over in the Marshall area, two miles in Mount Pleasant, and things so far so good across the northern Arcaltex where that north wind will kick in later this morning, so don't expect any significant fog issues uh, up there. We did see that over the past two mornings here. So look at Pinpoint Doppler. You see most of the rain right now is uh, just off to our west, and you can see a few showers over portions of uh, Hempstead, Nevada counties, where that actual front may be located right now. And as far as your temperatures, we do have some 60s up there to the north, but a very pleasant day across the northern Arkle, Texas, you will top out in the uh, mid and upper 70s. So just 76 for a high today. And Ida Bell, Texarkana should be held in the upper 70s. We'll stay out ahead of the front, Shreveport, uh, throughout the first half of the day here. So we will make it up to about 83, thinking about 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. And then those temperatures should begin to fall off. Here's a look at future cast that does show that rain popping up, especially midday. And uh, given that the front's still in the I-30 corridor right now, there is the potential. Some of the uh, very northern counties that we have here, so talking McCurtain, maybe how Howard, Sevier counties could quite possibly miss out on the rainfall today. And uh, with temperatures in the 80s along and south of Interstate 20, that's where we'll see the best chance of some rain uh, later on today. Of course, that warm air holds a little more water, so that's the best chance of seeing a few thunderstorms pop up as well. Maybe some brief heavy rainfall across a few of our Texas counties and Louisiana parishes, but no flash flood watch in effect today. And you see the rain begins to wa rapidly uh, wind down as we go through the overnight hours. Maybe just a stray leftover shower tomorrow morning, but you get the uh, idea, clearing trend on the way as we move through the day Thursday, which is going to be uh, just an absolutely beautiful day for us. As far as the rainfall, not a big rainmaker in most locations, about a quarter of an inch, uh, maybe less, and there will be some perhaps one inch amounts south of Interstate 20 where we get some of those thunderstorms going later today, but uh, as I mentioned, no severe weather threat for us. We'll definitely feel that fall air tonight. We're looking at lows, uh, very northern edge of the Arcaltex here, which will be dropping into the upper 50s, 62 in Texarkana, Shreveport in the mid-60s, so a lot of us uh, tomorrow morning may in fact need the jacket for the first time in a while as we'll have uh, some crisp fall air in place at least Thursday morning but we do have that front which is going to stall along the coast here return as a warm front this weekend so we'll have more seasonable temperatures with uh, daytime highs in the mid 80s through the weekend decent chance of some scattered showers again don't anticipate any heavy rain this weekend but we will have some rain around so if you have outdoor plans just got to keep that in mind we'll see that rain taper off uh, as we go through the early portions of next week and enjoy the cool down while we have it it does look like at uh, some point next week probably headed back into the upper 80s.